Good morning, good morning. Today we're gonna do a full D5 guide run through and clear with uh, one of the new characters released in the 0.8 beta patch about uh, three days ago, the Glutton. Now the Glutton is a really interesting character. Uh, their key mechanic is whenever you pick up a fruit or crate uh, or anything that heals you, you end up dealing a relatively powerful explosion that scales with 500% uh, of your melee damage. So it can be a pretty effective way to clear large amounts of enemies, uh, lots of mobs. Uh, the character does start with a really, really valuable plus 50 uh, to the luck attribute, um, pardon me, as well as uh, a pretty steep penalty and uh, in a 25% more expensive items as well as a 25% uh, penalty to experience, which you know isn't, isn't quite as steep. Um, I like to play the character as a melee build to help scale that um, explosion damage, but frankly, after like extensive testing, I do think it's just not, not as strong as going with uh, Shredders as a start. So I do think going with Shredders is just a way, way safer way to play this character, even though you don't get the crazy uh, chain reactions of explosions. It's just uh, much, much more consistent. So I'm looking for range damage or a little bit of harvesting. Um, with the uh, sort of uh, penalty of items, I do think uh, a little bit of harvesting just to kind of offset the uh, the cost of items is, is quite helpful. Um, but again, uh, the key thing about this character as well that I don't think a lot of people immediately uh, recognize is sort of luck. And you can kind of see that signposted with the character starting with 50 luck. You know, important mechanic about luck is not only does it increase the quality of items you see in the shop, it actually increases the chance that all these enemies have uh, of dropping uh, both fruits and crates. So the higher luck you have, uh, the better chance that these enemies have to drop uh, all these uh, crates and other items that we can then pick up in order to, uh, you know, cause more explosions. Um, I do like the the coupon here a little bit, given the the item penalty. So we'll go ahead and pick pick some of those up. Um, but again, uh, you know, I like uh, like I think the safest way by far is to play uh, this character sort of as a ranged slash explosive character. So. You, Think about building this character similar to how you might build like the artificer you basically want to do everything you can to maximize your explosion damage uh, with the key thing being you don't really want to go into negative negative melee if we do want to sort of get some value from these explosions that we get uh, from crates so picking up rain damage ranged damage early is quite strong as it always is and then obviously we want to uh, uh you know get a little bit of harvesting again just to offset offset that uh, penalty that we have um, in terms of item price. Even though I do like percent uh, damage, I don't necessarily want to take that here. Uh, kind of looking for range damage, so I'm happy, happy to see that. And again, we'll go and actually take four melee damage, you know, which is not something you're gonna do on most characters to uh, help that uh, explosion radius. Uh, again, I do want to get Shredder, and with all our luck, we're gonna see a lot of crates this run, so uh, I'm happy to pick up a bag. Uh, a key thing about the Shredder, is you can see it's both tagged a gun and explosive, and that second tag there, the explosive, does increase your weapon, uh, pardon me, does increase your explosion size by 25% uh, when you, um, you know, complete, pardon me, it, it increases all your explosions by 25%, which is pretty powerful because that does affect uh, your uh, explosions you get from picking up fruits uh, and crates. So uh, I do think that's quite valuable. There's only two ways in the entire game to, uh, to increase your explosion radius, and that is uh, the explosive tag as well as the uh, plastic explosives item, you know, which are a very valuable item on this character, but it's just it's an epic item and you're not guaranteed uh, to see it throughout a run. So I do think sticking with explosives versus something like the pruner you know, is pretty, pretty important on this character just to make sure that explosion size is uh, nice and big. So again, uh, really happy to see uh, a wheat which helps both uh, melee and range damage, uh, as well as another shredder. Um, sort of tempted by the recycling machine, but I think we'll be a little more judicious about our money. So again, if we want to take advantage of that exploding mechanic, you can just sort of ignore it. But I do think it can be pretty valuable just to, you know, you don't want to go for melee at the expensive range. But you do want to get a little melee uh, going just to make these explosions powerful. Because again, if we keep our luck high, we are going to see a lot of... Um, a lot of explosions kind of going off. Uh, I will probably upload a video at some point playing the melee version of this character, as it is a lot of fun and it's, it looks really cool when it does work. But you know, I do find winning with that, uh, while very possible, it is, it is much more of a difficult build. So for someone who's like, hey, again, I want I want the entire character sheet to be yellow, right? I want that D5 clear. I'm glutton. This character is challenging. How do you do it? Uh, I do think going with just a range build. Uh, is the more uh, like sort of consistent strategy. So that's what I'm gonna showcase here first. Uh, even a free tooth, I guess I'll go ahead and take it. I uh, don't really want that. We'll go ahead and grab some speed here 
uh, just to, to help that um, sort of penalty we just incurred. Uh, definitely excited to see. We, we want that harvesting. We want that range damage. And we want that melee damage. Uh, garden, I, I don't think is worth it, even though you know it might seem like it's pretty good at first. We'll go ahead and, and take a scope just because we do really want um, really want uh, more range uh, damage here. And weird food, you know, is, a, is an item that I don't actually normally take that often. I mean, it's not that good of an item, but I think on this particular character, uh, it's quite strong because you end up getting so many like fruits and crates that you know healing. Um, some more from those is, is pretty pretty valuable. You can see our explosion is dealing 56 damage. Uh, that's enough to um, take out pretty much all like swarm enemies, which can be pretty valuable. Um, in terms of like the lemonade as well, which also increases your uh, amount of healing, although it doesn't have a penalty, the lemonade increases uh, all health gain by consumables by one. I do think both that and the weird food, again, are worth taking on this particular character, even though I pretty much always skip them uh, on other characters, which is, it's kind of neat, right? Like you, you play different characters, they use different items, all your builds look a little different. Um, so you can see the trees bang, start some of those explosion chain reactions. You know, you pull those off, that can be that can be quite fun. Can we kill one of these last trees we did, although it didn't drop a crate. But again, 300 materials, that's that's pretty strong. Uh, again, really like bags. Um, I will go ahead and take this attack speed penalty here, again, just to keep our melee damage in a decent spot so we can um, you know, keep those explosions nice and strong. Uh, we have to be a little more judicious about what items we take you know, because of this uh, cost penalty here. Uh, but I really think the Lucky Charm is, is definitely worth it um, because, again, we're going to be dealing with... Uh, we, we, we want the, the uh, enemies to be dropping as much... Um, you know, as many things as possible, as many fruits, as many crates, so I do want to keep that luck. Uh, nice and high. So I do find Wave 8 relatively challenging, both on this character as well as pretty much every character that, you know, goes for an explosive build. Uh, these enemies have a lot of health, and you're generally not at the point where your explosions are strong enough where you're able to, like, efficiently clear really, really difficult uh, enemies yet. You know, that does come, you know, you scale to the point where you can handle challenges like these a little more efficiently, um, but we're not there yet. So I do want to just take this early. Was was a little greedy there trying to, you know, get the crate damage to, uh, really, really um, help us kill some of these uh, guys that are charging us, but uh, don't be me. Don't charge in the, <laughs> into the enemies. Uh, so again, just playing it a little safe. You know, I don't think we actually have any, uh, you know, any way to heal yet outside of uh, picking up uh, items. So uh, once we get some lifesteal on this character, we'll feel a lot, lot safer. And you can see, you know, our crates, our luck, giving us some nice sort of uh, extra damage to go with the shredders. Um, but again, I'm happy to take a little range damage. Never happy with a free baby and a beard, or never unhappy, I should say. And plus damage, you know, really, really strong way to uh, increase our explosive, explosive damage. But I do want the speed there. And again, give me more luck. I'm happy to see that. We'll take the lemonade, we'll take the broken mouth. You know, we're gonna go ahead and go for um, a bit of a, uh, a lifesteal build here, even though we only have two lifesteal. Uh, I don't think we necessarily need a medical turret. And again, community armor on any character that can afford it, I do think it's one of the best items in the game. You know, we are going to be killing enemies relatively quickly here. Um, so, like, you don't necessarily, uh, like, get a ton of value when you're playing Explosion with the community support. But again, you know, that might be the strongest item in the game. It's certainly, certainly up there with one of the uh, more powerful items. And between that, uh, coming up on the next wave and the baby and the beard, I do feel pretty good uh, about this character's uh, chances here. Uh, and winning. So again, you can see we're, we're going to do our best to take advantage of some of these fruit explosions. Uh, again, it can just be a lot of fun, you know, clearing out um, the waves. You know, with all our luck, we're going to have lots of fruits to run over and explode. And then, you know, it can be pretty satisfying when you're blowing everything up in like a million, a million different ways. Um, but, you know, we want to also, you know, if I see something like a minigun or an epic SMG, I'll definitely consider picking it up. You know, we do want a little bit more uh, single target damage because, you know, well, the shredders are amazing for obviously clearing or a large swath of enemies like we're doing now, um, you know, they don't have great single target damage. So diversifying your weapons, even losing the explosive tag, I think is worth it. Hey, free vigilante ring, happy to see it. Great AOE, so we don't want the white flag and we're uh, not doing burning. So lots of good options here. I do want to get our armor up just a little bit as well as uh, three range damage. Love to see that. Again, we're taking that community support for sure. So again, a little extra armor, uh, definitely something I want. Uh, a little more life seal, happy to see that. Again, coupons. Sort of meh item, I think, but again, on this character with more expensive items, you definitely want to pick it up. And a shredder, I'm happy to see that. We'll tank our range damage a little bit. Again, percent damage is just a really, really powerful way, uh, you know, to get more more damage. So I do think we want both of these. Um, we'll go ahead and take the power generator first, um, you know, which will give us a, with 13 speed, net 8% damage. But we'll worry about uh, getting our speed up even further. You know, power generator, it's just a, a great item that feels good. It's fun to take. You know, your rally is you're, you're pretty much always going to get speed. Um, so... Uh, getting even more rewarded for speed, you know, is always something that feels feels pretty good. So really happy to see that. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and take uh, that bandana as well. You know, the bandana works super, super well with shredders. Again, your shredders pierce a certain number of enemies. 
Um, and each time uh, that Shredder pierces an enemy, it has a chance to explode. So, you know, again, is it like, oh my gosh, is, is the bandana is good uh, on this? Like with Shredders, is it SMGs? You know, it's not, but it's still powerful enough where I'm happy to take the item. You know, we do want to get a little more range damage. You know, we're at 10, which is about where we want to be, but we want to get that as high as possible. And it's also quite important uh, on this character again, because we don't have amazing uh, single target damage. So I'm hoping, you know, we'll, we'll move from Shredders into, you know, something with a little bit better uh, single target damage. But, you know, again, we're cruising at this point. I think I feel pretty good uh, about this run. You know, just again, playing this character uh, sort of a range. You can see whew, all those crates with all this luck. Again, uh, I don't really want to lose melee in range, so I'll go ahead and pass on that. Um, gambling token, I guess we do want to start getting our dodge online. I definitely don't want a fuel tank. I do want some more speed. Um, looking for some more range damage here. Don't see it, but again, speed is essentially percent damage with that um, uh, power generator. So happy to see that. Go and grab bandana, grab a leather vest. Uh, we're not at the point where I quite want to, um, you know, go into some of those other items. We'll take a, a shredder, and I do think, you know, baby and beard, even with negative 50 range, is pretty good. We're doing a lot of piercing damage, so I'm happy to uh, pick up a pumpkin. Um, but I think we'll do relatively well. We got that horde wave uh, coming up. Uh, but I think with our sort of area effect, we'll be pretty strong. But again, you know, we're not doing great single target damage. So I do want to be careful with these uh, armored enemies that charge me uh, just because, you know, they, they they hit hard and, you know, we're not like super efficient at clearing enemies like that yet. But you can see, you know, our explosion there just crit for 141 damage, which which isn't bad sort of incidental damage. So, you know, once we start really, you know, exploding the mouthful enemies, we'll run around, grab a bunch of fruits. And it can be pretty, pretty satisfying. I, I do hope we get a uh, plastic explosive just because it's really cool to see you know, how big that explosion radius is. Um, but we'll see as that develops. Something key to keep in mind uh, with this character is you know you do have a pickup radius. You can kind of see those uh, fruits sort of drag to you uh, with the fruits when you're at low health. But when you're actually at full health, uh, you kind of have to stomp on them like directly, like they won't pull to you. You have to manually walk over them, which takes a little bit of an adjustment. Uh, so sort of a, a kind of fringe mechanic to keep in mind because you know if you're used to them uh sort of having a pickup radius for them it can be kind of weird when you're like wait why aren't they why aren't they coming to me i really want to get that range damage up so really happy to see that um a couple different items here i'm trying to think can we afford uh, both doesn't look like we can so i'll actually go ahead and take the weep first um and i do not necessarily want to drop our melee damage uh or our range damage so we'll go ahead and pick up that uh that harvest uh, pardon me that that uh weep again because we want both ranged and melee damage I think the one baby and a beard will be enough AOE, although I will pick up a second one again. Not not something that you necessarily hate uh, seeing uh, multiples of. But we just, you know, on these early swarm waves, you do just want to be a little uh, judicious about where you are. Again, these uh, armored guys it can be kind of easy to like lose them in the shuffle. Um, so you do want to be mindful of that. But again, uh, the swarm waves really do, or horde waves, I believe, they do show off sort of the uh, advantage of this um, explosion mechanic. And so we're really just stomping, uh, stomping things um, you know, our explosions are doing good damage. I mean, 144 non, non crit damage. That should be enough damage at this point in the wave to, uh, you know, pretty much take out all uh, non like tough enemies. But you can see this is when the character really starts to come together. You're dealing wildly uh, impressive area damage. We're just shredding the whole map, getting a ton of materials, and then we just uh, look for those fruits dropping and try to pick them up, you know, in a fashion where we can, uh, you know, clear, clear some tertiary enemies with it, as it does relatively good damage. And with that uh, weird fruit and lemonade, you know, they heal for a lot too. So, you know, it's a, a really good way to get some some damage. But getting some luck, getting some crates, uh, we'll go ahead and take our select machine. We'll take all those items. Um, somewhat tempted just to take the uh, melee damage. But I'll actually go ahead and take the uh, range, which is not really something I normally take, just because we're going to be going down to even more negative range with that baby in the beard. But you can see just a, a whopping, uh, whopping amount of materials here. We're gonna keep the bag train going. You know, because we're going percent damage, I do like the alien eyes, even if we don't have, pardon me, a lot of health just yet. Again, uh, peaceful bee is tempting, but I don't wanna go into that just yet. Um, we'll go ahead and take a little bit of damage. You know, I do, do want a little more armor for safety and a little more life still can't hurt. And again, I'm happy to drop just 1% damage. So again, feeling pretty good. We do have pretty low health. Um, okay armor for this point and uh, sort of negligible dodge but that's sort of the advantage of playing this character uh, as ranged versus uh, playing this character as melee is that just melee is way way more difficult in the sense that you're always going to be taking much more damage and again i do have a run or two i think i will uh, upload where i was able to make the whole melee explosions work which the advantage of doing that is it's just it's just cool right because you have you know 30 40 melee damage and your explosions are going off for like five six hundred but again uh, I do think that it, it's like, I don't want to necessarily make that as a guide, right? Like here's how you should play the character using melee because 
you know, you're going to play that and you're like, why can't I make this work? It's, it's super difficult. And so uh, I do think that's something to keep in mind is that the melee is fun. It's really, really powerful to play this character uh, with melee, but it is, it is significantly uh, more challenging. So I don't want, I want to kind of upload that as like a, hey, this is a crazy run, not necessarily like this is how you should play the character. Because I think if I did that, uh, people might get frustrated because it sort of requires a lot of different things to come together. Um, so I do think this range is, is a safe way to play it. We have so much AOE. Happy to take the gentle alien and love to see the plastic explosives. Again, we're doing so much area damage. Uh, we definitely want that. Again, I want to keep cranking luck. I mean, we want fruits out on the map. We want to keep those coming around. And uh, we did take, I believe, the, uh, the item that reduces our knockback. So I will go ahead and take a, a boxing glove. Um, again, we're going to upgrade our shredders, right? Like, we uh, really like this item and we want to keep it, keep them upgraded. So we'll just keep cranking through. Um, I'll go ahead and take a uh, bean teacher. Again, an item I'm normally kind of meh on. I don't want to lose life steal. They did buff that item in the most recent patch, um, so it, it's a little bit more worth considering. But again, uh, experience—you know—it scales linearly. Or sorry, it scales exponentially in this game. It doesn't scale linearly, right? So taking 40% more uh, XP doesn't mean you're going to get 40% more levels. You know, you just end up getting a couple more levels at the end. So it can still be worth considering. But again, it's not like extremely good or anything. I do think it's a little more worth considering on this character, just because they do have uh, that. Uh, excuse me, they do have that uh, XP penalty, so you might take that catch up on a catch up on a couple levels. Uh, on XP items, I do think the new Peacock they added is a lot of fun. Uh, it's a pretty strong item. Uh, I think I may have underestimated it initially. You know, I do think it's pretty fun to uh, pick up the Peacock and get like four levels in the next wave. So uh, I do I do find myself liking the item a little bit more um, than I thought I would. But uh, the Bean Teacher, again, we'll take it here, but I don't think it's like, oh my gosh, amazing or anything. And I may not necessarily take it, depending on what we see in the shops, just because I think we do have an Elite coming up next. And while our character is, is, is obviously gas at clearing large amounts of enemies, uh, it's not as strong killing Elites, I don't think, yet. So, again, I, I think, you know, a couple things we want here, but I really do want to just uh, take the range damage. So we do have an Elite coming up. Uh, negligible dodge, enough speed, I think, dodge efficiently. Um, so I'll go ahead and take that Bean Teacher. I may regret that. I'll go ahead and take this, but I'm going to actually take it um, after the next wave. Uh, we will take this. And again, I'm okay to tank a little range, get five health, and we, as we do get some bonus uh, from that melee damage here. So I do just want to be careful with this elite. We'll see which one we're facing. Okay, so we're facing uh, the guy that spawns the eggs. I should really confirm what the names of the elites are considering how much I play this game. Uh, we may be able to kill this uh, enemy. I mean, at the end of the day, this build just in general is not, you know, any explosive character is not going to be like amazing at killing uh, elites. But one of the advantage of playing an explosive character versus elites is, you know, one of the challenges when, when facing an elite is basically dealing with the huge swarms of enemies that uh, are around the elite, right? Because we basically don't want to get overwhelmed uh, with all the enemies spawning around us, um, you know, while we're trying to focus down the elite. And with uh, this great explosion damage, uh, we're able to sort of keep the enemies clear and uh, grab that crate pretty easily. Again, are all the epic items going to be good here? No. You know, it's, it's, not, it's relatively common to whiff but you definitely want to get it if you can. So you can see it's just boom, look at all these explosions with that plastic explosive just blowing up everything, we're running around, we're stomping on, uh, stomping on the uh, fruits and just, you know, like that. It's just funny to watch, right? Like it's, you're almost doing so much, so much damage. Uh, don't want the fuel tank, don't want the campfire. This will drop us down to uh, one life steal. You know, we're not concerned about HP regen, which is a tough penalty, but I just think six armor is so, so strong. Um, 25 speed, I am sort of looking for either range damage or potentially life steal. A lot of rerolls there, but we were rewarded because I do want to get that life steal a backup. Um, we'll go ahead and take a bowler hat. Again, I really like luck, even though it does give us negative uh, crit. And again, our attack speed isn't great, but we do have that uh, community support here. I'm sort of evaluating if we want this obliterator. You know, obliterators with that times two crit modifier are quite strong. Um, it's not explosive, it is a heavy tag. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and pass on, although it is somewhat tempting. Um, again, happy to see another shredder. I want to keep these upgraded. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. Um, almost tempted to take an alien worm, but again, we're not, not going there. So rocket launcher uh, is a pretty good item. Um, uh, we'll consider picking that up. I don't know how necessary it is, actually. Um, I'm trying to see. But we can do a good sort of combo to sort of raise our overall weapon level. So we'll go ahead and just roll with this. I feel, like I said, I think this runs in a pretty, pretty strong spot. Uh, just keep raising our range damage, obviously. The more range damage we have, um, you know, the more you know, we can, uh, or sorry, the quicker we can kill the bosses. You know, that uh, robotic arm, you know, that six armor makes me way, 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 way more comfortable just in the sense now we're at 15 armor, which is like way more than we need. Uh, so maybe get that dodge up a little bit uh, just to be extra safe and, you know, maybe a little more, a little more health, a little more 
Oh yeah, life steal. Just because again, uh, four life steal is, is enough for us to, you know, make it through. But if we get a little more, uh, that's a little better. But you can see, man, we're just huge area damage, grabbing these fruits, uh, blowing blowing things up. Um, sort of showing that, you know, going just a little bit off in the melee uh, compared to like an artificer build really can pay big dividends in using this explosion mechanic. And I'm just sort of laughing at how, how much damage our explosions are doing. Uh, yeah, th this this run is basically on, uh, on cruise control at this point. So we'll just see sort of how, you know, when you're at this point, it, it starts, it stops being like, how am I going to beat this run? It's more like, hey, what's the kind of craziest way we can, uh, we can take it? But again, showing, I think, the power of the uh, character when you go with a little bit of a... Uh, uh, going with the uh, shredders. So happy to see those items. We'll take some speed again. We're doing so much area damage. Like I'm, I'm happy to see a mouse uh, and uh, you know some of those other items as well. So we'll go ahead and combine the shredders and uh, throw in a uh, rocket launcher. Does have that explosive tag, so we don't need to worry uh, too much about that. Uh, almost tempted on this, but I don't want uh, you know I don't want to take that luck luck penalty. Uh, really happy to see a poisonous tonic again. Little range doesn't hurt. You know range isn't super important, but like we don't want to be super negative. This will get our crit chance back positive and obviously give us attack speed. Uh, with 17 armor, I definitely do not mind taking another community support. I do want to be. I, I do think you want to be a little careful going with too many of those, but um, you know while it is super strong, you know you don't want to get too weak from it. But again, with that uh, sort of uh, bonus that we got, and again we're just gonna. Sorry, the bonus we got from the robotic arm, I'm trying to talk two things at once. Uh, you know, we have a little bit of armor to spare. So if I had less armor, I may not take it just because it's sort of overkill at that point. You know, you already have enough attack speed, but uh, you know, why not? And you can see us there kind of utilizing the fruit, which is sort of why, wh where the character starts to work, right? Like our uh, luck is high enough. We're seeing a decent amount of fruits uh, drop on the map and we're just sort of stomping on them. You know, again, I think dealing with luck to get the fruits out on the map is just so much more effective than trying to deal with the pruners. Because at the end of the day, the pruners just aren't like a good weapon, right? The precise tag uh, gives you crit, which is pretty good. Um, but, you know, the weapon range isn't particularly strong. And I think they have 1.8 uh, crit scaling. You know, so when you're going crit, you typically want to focus on weapons that have uh, two times crit scaling. Two times crit scaling. So again, not a terrible weapon or anything, but in terms of ease of winning, I think this is just the way to go. Triangle power, yeah, not, not taking that. Giant belt, I'm sort of met on this item. You know, we do have some positive crit. It's free, um, so we'll, we'll take that. And again, silver bullet uh, will help us because we want to deal as much damage as we can uh, to the bosses. Again, I, I'm probably not going to purchase that item, but for free, I'll take it. I don't think we need a third baby with a beard, although it is sort of somewhat tempting. All right, well, this is going to get a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> grab a coupon uh, before we buy these items, but again, uh, Second blast of explosives, second rocket launcher, and we'll, you know, we're just gonna have nuts of big explosions here. And again, uh, just a reminder of this mechanic here, a little range isn't like super important, but when you buy the last item in the shop, you know, you do get a free reroll. So it can definitely be worth that uh, to take another peek. Uh, because we have two community supports, I'm happy to take a missile, uh, just 10% more damage tanking our uh, attack speed. But again, we don't really need attack speed with two community supports. So uh, percent damage, again, super, super strong at, uh, uh, you know, getting explosions up, and it's just like, man, look at our explosion size. Like, it's hard for me not to smile just laughing how big our explosions are. Look at that. It takes up almost, like, the entire real estate on the screen uh, with the with uh, the explosive tag plus two plastic explosives. I'm going to be clear. You don't need to go this sort of off the rails to win. Obviously, this run ended up getting uh, pretty ridiculous. But, uh, you know, you don't need to be this powerful to win, right? Like, you can either dodge the bosses or you can... Um, you know, kill the bosses with a little more more damage. Uh, I do think that giant belt will help quite a bit. You know, in the sense that like we don't we don't do great great uh, single target damage. So that giant belt and that silver bullet, I think, are gonna just help us be extra extra safe. Um, armor is great. Uh, dodge is pretty low, but that's all right. You know, if I can get a little bit of um, a little more max, yeah, pardon me, a little more max HP just to be extra safe. You know, I'll definitely definitely want to take that. So let's see where we are. And you can see we kind of moderate uh, harvesting, right? Eighty one, not bad, but like. Not amazing. Uh, with our luck, I, I am hoping for like a, a better, a better upgrade there. So happy to see uh, nine max HP just to make us a little, little more comfortable. I think uh, our armor is, is more than sufficient. Again, pardon me. We'll take the max HP uh, there and, and the melee damage. All right. Okay. Now at this point, you just have to laugh. Oh gosh, that's hilarious. Um, okay. So we will take the uh, explosive shells because why not? We're dealing all explosive damage, uh, and then we'll take our third plus of explosive. Yeah, I've played this game for hundreds of hours, and uh, I've probably played this game more than like 99.999999% of people. But I don't think I've ever gotten a full explosive run uh, with three uh, three <laughs> classic explosives. 
Uh, yeah, let, let's be real. Like, do we need that third plastic explosive? No. I mean, at the end of the day, does it help versus the bosses? It does not. But you're sure as hell bad I'm going to take it because it's going to be a hilarious. You know, you can see, man, these explosive shells increasing all explosive damage by 60%. Uh, you know, I, like, I, our explosions are hitting for, for hundreds at this point, and we're not even in, in melee. So you can really see it come together uh, there. I mean, look at bang. You know, it's just, oh, wow, just demolishing everything. I mean, yeah. Um, Feel, feel pretty good. Uh, life seals a nine. That's plenty. You know, we got enough health. Our dodge is a little low. But again, you know, it's we deal so much explosion damage. Uh, we're just going to, like, completely clean the map. I mean, we're going to run the issue where community support is not going to provide good attack speed because we are just wiping the floor with everything uh, so so quickly, which is, you know, a good problem to have. So I will take a little bit of attack speed from the coffee, and then let's just be safe and take the max HP, although that range damage is pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're taking out plastic explosives. You, you bet your bottom dollar here. And then, uh, again, happy to tank range to take some more damage. Uh, a little more speed. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and take that again with uh, the power generator. Oh, uh, that speed. So, again, I feel really, really good about going these bosses. A lot of health. Our dodge is, eh, pardon me, our dodge is pretty low, but I think everything else is quite strong. So, I think we're just going to demolish the bosses here. Uh, you know, demolish the bosses in terms of demolishing bosses with uh, explosive characters, right? Like, explosive characters don't deal amazing single target damage no matter how overpowered you get uh so we're gonna demolish the bosses in context of how this character normally handles uh bosses you can see picking up that fruit how huge our explosion radius was um again we'll start seeing some more fruits uh, out in the map i'm uh not even paying attention so i should probably probably start dodging we can see bang 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 that was pretty fun you know getting all those explosive shells uh, going the other so again this is what i think the easiest way is just to uh, have success on this character which is Start with shredders, um, you know, use that explosive tag to get a better explosive size. But unlike a normal uh, range build, don't just completely neglect melee, right? Build range, but take things, uh, you know, if you're lucky enough to get wheats that give you both melee and range. Uh, if you're lucky enough to grab a couple hedgehogs, which I think we had a few uh, here, you know, which give you both range damage and melee damage. Those are definitely items that we want to be out on the lookout for. Keep our luck super high so we get a lot of fruits that drop, you know, as the run kind of progresses. Um, and we'll be all right. Obviously, take some plastic explosives. You can find them as well as dynamites, which we didn't actually find this run in order to really increase that explosion damage. But again, sky high luck. Get a lot of things on the ground. Play safely with the shredders. Pick it all up. Cause a ton of explosions. And uh, you'll be well on your way to uh, to uh, crushing this uh, when you uh, go ahead and give the button a try. So I hope you did find this uh, guide helpful. And again, at some point, I'll upload one of those crazy runs. Um, you know, using the melee build. Uh, but I appreciate you know, watching. Any other questions, uh, do let me know or comment below. Appreciate it. Take care.